Welcome to the blogging edition of Wordy Screencasts. Today you're going to learn how to create a blog using Google Sites. I'm going to make this real quick and easy. This is really just to help you out, give you a little tutorial if you need it. So what you want to do is go to, go to your Google Drive. And then you're going to click up here and go down to Sites. So make sure you're on Google Sites. It will take you to Google Sites, but you want to choose new Google Sites. It's new. It's improved. It looks better. Choose new. All right. When you're here, now you click down here, create new site. We're going to create a new site pretty quick, show you how to use some stuff. Hopefully we get this done in about two and a half to three minutes. I'm already at one minute. All right, so I'm going to title my site. Wordy's Wise Musings. Title my page. We might make this the home page. You can make this the about page. Then if you want to insert something down here, just insert text box. Click up here for the title. So you put the headline, enter, and automatically put you in normal text. And then you just start typing up your blog post. Now there are different things you can do. This could be the home, the main blog. Um, if I wanted to put one a new one on and kind of keep it in order, then I was like, all right, click on this, insert a new text box. I can move that up. Uh, I can also just click off to the side, insert text box. And again, it's going to put it below. So you just have to keep bringing it up. Anyway, you want to keep doing that. If I want to make a new page, I go to Pages. Actually, let me go back to this real quick. If I want to put an image in, I could do a Google search, put an URL. It'll put the image in. Uh, if you had a video from like YouTube and the embed code, you would just click this. Let me put the URL in. Pages, I want to create a second page. Right here, Add Page. Uh, I'm going to make this about the author, or about, done. Puts me on about. Again, I can kind of change the header type to make it a banner. I could put a logo in if I wanted. Go back to insert, insert text box, enter my stuff in. There are different themes you can choose, different font styles, so you just kind of, kind of play around with it. Two things that are important now. Okay, that's not it. This. All right, when you hit publish, make sure you select anyone at collegek12.org. Do not, do not, do not choose anyone on the web. We do not want anybody who's not in k 12 to have access. We want to keep this within the school for safety and privacy. This is the one to choose. Do not choose this. The location, you want to choose something so your actual address, and you could give this out to people as long as they're signed into a Collins with account. It'll be sites.google.com slash collegek12.org backslash whatever you put here. So if I put Wordy's space words of wise, that's what it's going to be. I hit publish. It's publishing. Now, anytime I do something new, you're going to want to go up. So if I add in some text there, if I don't hit publish, like it's saved, but it's not published to the web. So if I want to republish this, I hit publish. To view the publish site, you literally click this little arrow here off to the side next to publish. Click that. Publish site. This, when you go to submit your links in Google Classroom or anywhere else, that's the URL you would grab, copy, paste it, put it in. That's pretty much it. Uh, any questions, let me know. Wordy is out.